Well, we made it to our next spot. We're now in Littleton, North Carolina. There was a couple things that we did when we were in uh, the last spot that we didn't we didn't film for YouTube. We went to the NASCAR race in Martinsville, which is really cool. William Byron won again. We went to Daytona 500 and he won. We went to Martinsville and he won. And then we went to our first uh, minor league baseball game of the year. I, uh, I threw in a couple of cornhole tournaments while we were at the last spot. First one didn't go so well, but then uh, the second one I finished in second place. What do you think about this spot, man? I love this spot. Yeah, it's nice. I love it. Other than? Other than no sewer. No sewer. Hey, your scout. Scout made it through another travel day. <laughs> and he's got a decent view out here. I mean, he's got the road back there where people come through, but I mean, he can see out these windows and he can see out to the lake and stuff. Mm -hmm. and. I'm sure people will be walking through here with their dogs and probably see some squirrels. Oh, so yeah. he likes to check out the wildlife. So I don't know, we're here for one week and then we head up to Virginia, yeah. Pono Beach, Harbor View, Thousand Trails. So we're going Thousand Trails, thousand, maybe Thousand Trails that we can hit on our way up to Indiana. But um, I don't know, we'll see what we can get into here. I'm sure there's something to do. I'm sure there is. Well, I know there is one cool thing we're gonna, well, I hope it's as cool as I think it is. It sounds cool. It sounds cool, so I hope it is cool. I'm Either really way, to do it. you're coming with us. <laughs> this is the first RV park we've ever been to that has a gaga ball court. And apparently, it's a dangerous sport because you got to play at your own risk. <laughs> and here's the gaga ball court. It's like an octagon. It appears that no one's played gaga ball here in a long time. <laughs> Maybe they were injured and called it quits. Looks I don't know what Gaga Ball is. We just play dodgeball with pine cones. I don't think that's Gaga Ball. <laughs> it's like her. Although I have played dodgeball with pine cones before when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a boy. Boys do dumb shit like that. Boys are stupid. <laughs> They hurt. I know they hurt. <laughs> and then when you hum it at somebody's head, it really hurts. <laughs> Don't do it. Maybe it's like full contact gaga ball. <laughs> Get ready to sumo wrestle. <laughs> we'll let you know what gaga ball is. So let me look it up. Well, we're getting ready to head into the... Uh, see if I get this right. Crypto... Zoologist... What is it? Zoology. Zip Cryptozoology Paranormal Museum. Yeah. Yeah. Um, apparently there's some Bigfoot stuff in here. There's been some sightings around this area. Say something about Bigfoot, maybe aliens. And I know what I'm really excited about seeing, there's some there's some haunted dolls yeah. in here. Mm -hmm. Dolls are creepy anyway. Freak me out. But yeah, oh I was looking God. online a little bit and they're like they're like in cases behind glass. Yeah. Protected. So like Annabelle. Yeah. <laughs> Dolls are creepy, man. So let's go in here. It doesn't look like a very big place, but let's go in here and see if we can get creeped out. I'm sure we can. <laughs> it's not hard to do for me. There's Bigfoot. Oh, yeah, that is. Well, apparently, this is like an area where lots of Bigfoots are sighted. They even do like tours out of here. There's some of the feet imprints. The owner here gave us a map of oh, no, uh, where the sightings were around here he does tours and uh, he has his own YouTube channel too we'll leave a link down in the description so you can go check his his channel out and if you're into Bigfoot man this is the place to come because I guess there's a state park about 12 miles from here that uh, they have sightings all the time hey hey you believe in Bigfoot yes yeah mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm a believer in Bigfoot I do believe in aliens I do believe in paranormal That's why I believe in Bigfoot. but I don't know if, I don't know if I believe in Bigfoot though but he he had some pictures he even yeah, he had did it for a living. Like thermal imaging. Yeah. And there's some other pictures in here too. So I don't I know. I always just hate that nobody can ever get a clear photo. Yeah. That's the that's the most annoying thing. If it's so real, why can't we get a real good photo? We get a great pictures of Mars. Yeah. From the rover. Yeah. But can't get a good picture of Bigfoot. Or when someone robs a convenience store. Apparently <laughs> <laughs> we can't get good footage of that either. It's all grainy. <laughs> Well, this is interesting. Oh, I wonder if that is like anatomically correct. Because, <laughs> you know, 
I would just see there would be a situation here with sticking and maybe nodding and matting. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of matting. You know, maybe you just got to go dip it in the river to just get the dingleberries free. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems to be a problem. Oh, I think it would be a problem. Boy. Look at that haunted doll. They're both haunt haunted dolls. Plural. There's two of them. Oh, she just looks creepy, doesn't she? Yeah. You believe in that too? Yes. Hauntings? Yes. And like I, poltergeists? Yes, absolutely. Can attach themselves to like objects mm -hmm. like this? Big believer in that. This clown doll right here, this boy had it and uh, had night terrors when it was in his room for years. Put it away. We put it away in the attic. Nightmare stopped. Brought it back out later in life. His wife put it in the guest room, and then when guests would come over, the guests would have nightmares and night terrors. So that's the story behind this one here. This doll down here, she would move herself around. So this couple that had this doll, this doll would move around. They would put it one place, they'd come back home, this doll would be in a different location, turn around, head facing the door, whatever. Um, they had fights even about who was moving the doll, but no one was moving the doll. So they gave the doll to the museum, and even since the doll's been here, the doll has been known to move around. All right, the owner of the place gave us this EMF meter, and it's supposed to, be, supposed to like, tell you how, how much EMF is coming off for like the level of hauntedness. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man, that thing that? spiked! Look at that. Let's try this. This is a this is a hay crane, and somebody killed himself in the rope on this on this hay crane. So this is haunted, also supposedly. Here, let's see what the EMF meter says on this haunted hay crane. Oh, oh, you see that? If you're a tourist and you have any interest in Bigfoot or any of some good spikes there. This is the place to go. It's just amazing. The amount of activity that's going. Oh, oh man, look at that. Dang, that thing is <laughs> tweaking right there. <laughs> that's so crazy. Yeah, obviously do not touch. Because I, I don't know how all this works, but I, I think that those energies can be transferred from objects to people. And I don't want to take anything home with me. <laughs> this doll is known to have made people nauseous and lightheaded. And they're around it. And uh, a lot of these are safely behind glass now. So they can't really. Is what? Oh, is, it, is it pegging? Look at it. Oh my god. He said that Raggedy Ann doll has um, been known to have eye movement. And people hear voices of a little girl coming from it. And now Les has got the EMF meter up there and it's spiking. That's crazy. Yeah, when you first put it on there, it oh my gosh, look at that. Holy crap, it's just like flashing. Boom, boom, boom. All the way to the top. That's crazy. That's by far the biggest reading that we've gotten. Necklace. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That thing is just popping. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, it's kayaking day. Yeah. And um, because it's filming day, we have a lawn uh, care crew over there because anytime you break out the camera it's guaranteed to bring out the mowers and the blowers and the weed eaters yep. it's it's just yep. one of those things man murphy yep. you get out the film they will come out and mow yeah. uh we're today we're going out to this island way out there well we're gonna try to anyway we we'll go out to the island we might see if we can get onto the island i don't know if we can get onto the island or not yeah. we're gonna go out there and have lunch i'm sure it's way farther out there than what it looks <laughs> All right, let's get away from these weed eaters. Oh, this jump. Well, we're coming up on the island now. Feels like we've been paddling forever to get here. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, but man, it feels like we're never getting there. And now I'm paddling with one hand because I'm recording with the other. But um, when we get up there, we'll let you know if we can get on it. Maybe explore it a little bit. But uh, I don't know if there's enough space, ground space to to get off the kayaks or not, we'll see. We're gonna do a lap around the island. See if we can find a better spot to, to get on the island maybe. 
It's another little baby island off of the main island there. I thought it was a rock at first, but it's a little baby island. And we don't have we don't have strings or a rope or anything to tie our kayaks off. And it looks like a pretty steep embankment to get on that thing. If we went over there, I think our kayaks would float away while we were eating lunch. So we gotta probably figure something else out. It's like a little piece of fence on this little island. I guess this little island used to be much bigger because yeah. something was on it and and fenced in but now it's just a couple of fence posts and Leslie's using it as a anchor point to hang on to to stabilize herself um I don't know man let's keep going around the other side of the island and see what's over there John? yeah well we're on the island we got uh, a little space there that we were able to we didn't bring any towels or anything so I guess we're gonna sit on our life vests didn't plan that well. to eat lunch but yeah. um man it's further than it looks. Yeah. It's a long paddle. Yeah. Going back will be easy though. But yeah, we were going against the wind, so it was like really difficult. Well, there's a fish right and it was there. choppy. Yeah, there's oh, she's on a nest, yeah. so I don't want to mess with her. Yeah. Um, we'll stay kinda of over here. I think that that's a lot of the situation out here. I think a lot of the geese are just in here nesting, nesting so I don't think we're gonna explore too much. But you can see there's other remnants of fence and stuff out here. But if this was a man-made lake, then before it was a lake, it could have just been property with fences and cows and, you know, yeah. property and farms or whatever. So then when they flooded it, maybe some of this stuff, uh, they didn't knock down any fences, they just left them. So yeah. um, this was probably one of the high points. And so it didn't flood, it became an island. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll leave the geese alone. We'll kind of keep our distance. She's, she's keeping an eye on us for sure. Yeah. But uh, we'll keep to ourselves over here. We'll have lunch. And then we'll um, we'll head out and explore some more on the kayaks. It's a perfect day yeah. to be out kayaking. And getting ready to have lunch on the island. Yeah. How many of you have had lunch on the island? Be honest. <laughs> and we're going to our go-to for kayak days, lunchables. <laughs> Don't judge us. With our Capri Suns. That's right. Cheers. No. And um. I brought the GoPro because I thought maybe you'd be able to see something in the water. Yeah. On the way over here, I stuck it in the water and I just played it back for you. You can see nothing. Merc. Merc. You can't tell how deep it is. You can't tell what's in there. So how bad would you freak out if you fell in this? Very bad. <laughs> well, we're in North Carolina. There's nothing really bad in There's there. No, shush. There's bad things in there. We're too far north to have gators. Yeah, no gators probably. But... Some turtles, some fish. But they're not going to get you. Snakes. Snakes are close around the edge. We'd actually be more likely to, to step on a snake on this island than we would come across a snake out there in the open yeah. water. Nothing is allowed to surprise me. So, yeah. I either sink like a rock or I walk on water like you. Yeah. It's the two options that I have. We wanted to tell you about yesterday after we came out of the Paranormal Museum. Yeah. You had a little moment. I did. It was very weird. I didn't like it. She couldn't see at all. No. It was they, like she was like, like blur blind. The color was there. Yeah. But everything was, I don't want to say kaleidoscope because it wasn't that many, yeah. you know, breaking up of objects, but that kind of effect where it was patchy, but in color. So I think it was something that had to do with the paranormal museum. I think maybe you touched something. I got a little too close to something. Now that one doll does say it could it was known to cause people nausea, headaches. Yeah, so and maybe you got a little too close with the little reader. It was just really weird. Walking out from the grocery store. Yeah. Everything started to go into that not crystal clear and just yeah. in segments. Normally we go out there and and she starts plugging in the GPS where we're going next. But I had to sit there. She's sitting there, I'm like are you all right? She's I kept like, blinking. I don't, trying. I don't think so. I can't really see. But it came back. Yeah, it lasted maybe what, two minutes, two three minutes. So that's freaky that that happened right after we came out of the paranormal museum. Yeah, we went across the street to the grocery store to get the lunchables. Yeah. And, and then we have an update for you on Gaga ball. Oh yeah. Gaga ball is one of the stupidest sports <laughs> ever created. It is, but the video we watched of those, they look like college kids probably yeah. playing it. It was kind of funny. I think they were cadets, some kind Cadet, of uh, yeah. cadidiots. Cadidiots is like, yeah, that's exactly yeah. what you call them. But yeah. it's 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 a young man's sport because you got to be bent over. You got to be time. agile. 
it's like dodgeball, but you can't grab the ball and throw it. You got to no, be bent yeah. over. You got to slap the ball at each other. Yeah. And you got to hit them below the knees to get them out. And so you're bent over the whole time. It yeah. just doesn't look like very much fun for like. For our age, you know, we got for our back age and older. Issues. No. Knee issues. Yeah, you get one match done, you'd be all, you'd be all done. Yeah. But anyway, it looks right. fun to watch. Though. Let's enjoy our lunch, chill on the island for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll go back out. Okay. Lake Gatson was built in 1963. Older than me. Yeah, well, that's when they put the dam in, and now they use it to, they use this as a reservoir, and they use it to generate power from the dam. Okay. 20,000 acre lake. Big. Yeah, so it is man made, so the fence thing does make sense because before 1963, this was just all land. And now we're just kicking it, chilling. I did decide to take my water shoes off, let my dogs get a little sun. True that. Oh man, this is nice. So relaxing, just sitting out here, just rocking. Now, if you're if you get seasick, probably not the best for you. Yeah. You'd probably be out here feeding the fishes because it's a little choppy out here today. Yeah. But to me, it's relaxing, it's relaxing. man. Just rock, I can take a nap. chill. Yeah. yeah, you can take a nap for sure. Well, that was a nice, relaxing week. What? You need weeks like this every once in a while, man. Yeah. Where you just kind of disconnect and just chill and not really do a whole lot. Kind of disconnected unwillingly, too. Yeah, we didn't really have a choice in the matter <laughs> because uh, internet doesn't really work out here. We have T-Mobile and Starlink, but the T-Mobile doesn't work Struggled. very well. It's like one tower in this town. And so, I expressed it over the weekend, it rained. So, yeah. nobody's at work and it's raining, so it was a little difficult. But yeah. And you know, we're, it's wooded, so Starlink wasn't even an option. Yeah. So... We were watching some DVDs yeah. and hanging out and playing some Mario Kart and <laughs> yes. getting some editing done, but just kind of relax. It was really a chill week, and you need chill weeks like this, especially yeah. when you know, we're leading up, getting ready to go to the Alliance Rally. That's going to be a busy time, yeah. and then we're going to be heading down to the Wagstrom meetup this summer. It's going to be a busy time, and then down to the RV Unplugged Rally. It's just a lot of stuff that's coming up, yeah. big ticket items that we really just need the, that downtime in between. Take advantage of it. Yeah. And I got some great, great news. Great, great. Great, great news. I won my first cornhole tournament. <laughs> That's true. Here. here. I, yeah, this yeah. past weekend, um, a couple uh, weeks ago, I finished second in a tournament. I was bummed yeah. about that because I came so close to winning. <laughs> and I went out this past weekend and won my first tournament. It's only my fifth tournament overall. Yeah. And, you had uh, a really good partner, too. I did have a good partner. So you got lucky with that. Yeah, that's that's part of it. When you draw your partner, you really don't know what you're, know what getting. you're getting. So sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you get a bad one. I drew a good partner and we did yeah. really good. And um, yeah, this is a great little campground. It's in the middle of nowhere. If you're looking for some downtime, this is the place to do it. <laughs> yes. Like Gatson beautiful. RV Resort, <laughs> Thousand Trails. <laughs> Uh, it's in a good location. The weather was pretty good. Got yeah. a little cool last it's couple cool of days. It's cool right now, yeah. But uh, all in all, not too bad. Had a good time. But yeah. it's time to move on. We're headed up to Virginia next. Yeah. Colonial Beach, Fredericksburg, yeah. all that good stuff. I'm excited about this. I think there's going to be a lot of cool stuff. So hopefully you'll hang out with us. This is new stuff to us now. Yeah, we're taking a new route. We always take the same yeah. route up to Indiana and back down to Florida and also so, taking a new route. And yeah. Seeing new stuff. This will be fun. Yeah. You should come with us. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> I completely pray the roads are decent. Yeah, we just don't know. We've yeah. never been on these roads before, so we'll see. Don't demolish my rig. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's a wrap from Littleton. Yep. Literally, Little, little Town. Little, little Town in Littleton. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.